Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is a quick video to show the changes made in the November update of Axis Site Designer. Let's take a look. We've made some great improvements when you're selecting accessories. Here I have a camera which needs to be placed in an external housing. Axis Site Designer recommends housings that are suited for the product. But if I need to change the lens, we are now informed if the lens will fit. And this works in the reverse order as well. If I have a camera and a lens and then select a housing, I will also be informed if it is compatible. Here is another example where I have selected an audio interface to go with a camera. And I am now informed that I need an additional accessory, which is a mid-span to power the unit. These great improvements eliminate mistakes and make you more efficient when designing your solution. We have also added a new filter. You can now filter the camera portfolio for cameras that have deep learning processing units or machine learning processing units. This can be really useful when finding a camera to support a specific ACAP. Also, when selecting Axis Object Analytics as the application to be installed on your camera, we will filter the camera portfolio and display the best performing camera options. We've also improved the scenarios and zip stream. Here, you can now select the minimum frame rate when using dynamic frame rate. When there is no movement, this is the frame rate the camera will drop to to save storage. The final element to highlight is that we now display the floor plan within the lens view. This gives you the ability to really understand what the camera will be seeing on your site. I hope this video has explained the new changes within Axis Site Designer. Thank you for watching.